Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. Let me take a look at Santa's, Santa's bag of toys. Yeah, that's what, he, that's what it is. Santa's bag. Oh, we got a gift. We got something to open up. Honestly, that's my Santa voice. And I don't know why. I don't know why it's that voice, but uh, yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. So today we're actually going to be opening up this mystery holiday gift brought to you guys by Untouchable Sports Cards and Gaming. They're actually my local game store and I'm going to leave a link to their website down below in the description for you guys to check out. But I do want to say that I asked them to make a mystery holiday gift for Christmas and I have no idea what's in here. So just like you guys, I'm going to be getting surprised in what's in here. I have no clue. I know there's probably booster packs in here. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's definitely stuff in here. So let's find out what it is. So I really mean it when I have no idea what's in here. I called them up. I said, hey, look, put together a holiday package. I want to do something fun on the channel. And they said, we got you. So they wrapped it up here. It's wrapped up in these like nice little snowflakes and a lot of tape. So uh, it's going to be tough to open up. But fun fact, this playmat that I'm using with the uh, the cherries, the ghost ogre and the ash, they're kind of holding presents. So it's kind of like Christmas themed, like the presents over here. And then this present over here by Untouch. Thank you guys. Thank you, Untouch, for putting this together. Now this feels like a mega tin, but I feel like that's just to hold the stuff because there's stuff of these stuff in here. And they did say there was going to be some, something in here that I was not going to be prepared for. So I have no idea what that could be. But we're about to find out, right? So let's open this up. Okay, yeah. So it definitely is a mega tin. But again, I feel like that's just holding packs inside of it. And the fact that they wrapped this is even better. But let me see if I can get this off. Okay, boom. All of the wrapping is off. That was actually not too bad. All right. Mega tin. Let's find out what's inside of here. Okay. This is probably, Oh, Oh, there's a lot in here. Okay. I kind of want to keep it a secret. I don't want to like ruin the surprise right away. So what I'll do is I'll try to open them up one pack at a time. Okay. We'll put the, we'll put the tin over here. We'll go one pack at a time. The first pack over here is the grand creators. Okay. So grand creators came with the adventure stuff with the exosister stuff. And then I can't remember the third thing that came in here. Oh, the punk stuff. So this is actually an old set and we're going to get right into it. Okay. So grand creators. First booster pack. Let's see if we can pull anything good. I've actually never pulled a CR from any of these sets and the streak continues. This is just a super rare Exorcist Servatus. And that is it, it looks like. Yep, that's it for this pack. Okay, so that was Grand Creators. But we got a lot in here. I see a lot of booster packs. Okay, what's the next pack over here? And I really just wanted to do something fun for Christmas. Battles of Chaos. I haven't pulled the Dark Magician. The Dark Magician alternate art, the manga art. That would be insane. So yeah, again, I really just wanted to do something for fun for Christmas. And yo, big shout out to Untouch because I literally called them up and I said, listen, I'll be there in like 10, 15 minutes. Can you guys put something together? They said, we got you. So this is actually going to be a really fun opening, something that I have no idea what's coming. You guys have no idea what's coming. We're all doing this together. So DV Griffin as a super rare over here. I don't think there'll be anything else in this pack. Yep. No, that would be it. Okay. So that was Battles of Chaos, I think it was. All right, so our next pack over here. I wonder if they get better as, you know, the packs go on. Okay, they did say, I'm not gonna lie, they did say they put one of these packs in, and they said the reason they put one of these packs, because this is a very controversial pack, okay? It's a pack that not a lot of people were super hyped about, but they did say they put one in, because they know they can. I can pull the Ghost Rare. If anyone pulls a Ghost Rare, it's gonna be me, and let's find out if it is. I don't think it is. It's not. I didn't pull a Ghost Rare. Okay, well, you know what? We tried. Can't blame them for trying, but... The next pack. We have so much in here. I don't want to spoil it all, but like there's a lot of packs in there. All right. So let's see what we can pull next. So Photon Hypernova. This comes with the Koshtura stuff. Specifically, I think a Rise Heart and the regular Rise Heart and, uh, you know, the second wave of Koshtura support came in here. So there can be some pretty good stuff in here. We got Evil Eyes Unleashed. We got a Monocord, Branded the Fallen and a Galacta Karibo. Okay. I love these Karibo cards. Speaking of, um, Winged Karibo just got a Flame Wingman like retrain where it's kind of like holding or not holding, but wearing the Flame Wingman stuff. I think that's pretty cool. I'm excited for that card. I don't think it's going to be very good, but I think it's a very cool card. Okay. Rarity Collection. You can never go wrong with the Rarity Collection, especially towards the holiday season where you can pull a quarter century rare or a CR or an ultimate rare. Very, very good odds to pull something good. And then if it is going to be a QCR, it would be the second card so i'm actually gonna put this in the back and we're gonna go straight into these over here so elvish the golden lord super rare there's a lot of really good super rares and ultra rares in the set pot of prosperity ash blossom imperm so many of them we got a reasoning so we got no ulties and no crs got a dingirsu super rare gonna be a good super rare especially in today's format with orcus harpora coming back and ooh, an artifact lancia prismatic secret rare okay it's not a qcr but a prismatic secret rare you can't be mad about it is an upgrade so probably no 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 let's not let's not let's not ruin it okay okay Ooh, for a second i thought i was gonna ruin it there but 
Lancia, good pull. I'm gonna keep it here. It's probably the best pull we have so far. The next set over here is Burst of Destiny. This is an old set. Bode, what's in Bode? The Sword Soul stuff, right? The Sword Soul stuff's in Bode. Okay. I think the Sword Soul stuff would be actually really good to pull. Moye is in here. I think all the Sword Soul. Long One's in here. Shi Shao is in here, I think. This is an old set. Flip Frozen. Cyanite Crosswipe. Cyanite Cascade. We got a Gunkin Sue ship. Okay, nothing in that one. Bro, what is going on? Can we pull something good? Can we pull something good? Okay. There's still a lot left in here. Okay, let's go. We got Cyberstorm Access, Sayak. This had two CRs. I think this was the very first set that we got with two CRs in it, which is really nice. Except I can't remember what exactly is in Sayak. Pure Lily. I think I guessed the Pure Lily cards. I really can't remember what's in here. Protect Code Talker. That's definitely not something you want to pull from in here. All oh, the gold prize stuff was in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. For some reason, I forget this set. This is a, I don't want to say it's a forgettable set, but it's definitely not a set that I, uh, I don't think I opened too much of this set. So let's go into Wild Survivors though. This is a set that I really like. This is a set that has not done me well. I've opened so much of this and I still don't have my playset of Ground Zeno. I still don't have any of the Dino CRs. It's uh, it's definitely not a set that's treated me well. It's a set that I really love, but it has not treated me well. We got a Tanky, Giant Rex. See, two good cards to start. And then just a Nuval Super Rare. Erad is a good one. Deck Dev is a good one. Litho is a good one. Th these are all like good rares. Like, don't get me wrong. They're good rares, but I want to pull a CR, bro. I want to pull something nice. Okay, looks like we still got a few packs left. We still got a few packs left. We got an Amazing Defenders. Amazing Defenders over here. Let's open this up. Real quick, a Amazing Defenders has the Mikanko stuff in it, right? Oh, Durandal, that's a good rare. I'm not mad about that one. Perry Ray's map. X Purely Noir as a uh, super rare. Did this come as QCR or CR or s did it? Can't remember. X Purely Noir, though. just a super rare. We have a Delicious Memory, Hidden Armory, Gizmek Orochi, and Limiter Removal. Okay, so we have one more pack in here. Oh, and then we have a structure deck. I think that was a structure deck. Ooh, 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 okay, okay. Valiant Smasher. We pretty much got every set that came out in 2023, huh? This is maybe not every set, but there's definitely like a good amount of the sets that came out this year. I and mean, some from older sets as well. So that's pretty cool. So we got a Goblin, Mementoli. Oh, this is a new set. This is Valiant Smasher. We got the Centurion stuff in here. Okay, I feel like it'd be that. Okay, can we? No. I didn't think we were gonna pull anything good. And I was just hoping. Valmonica, Angelo. We got a. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Summoner Monk, Magic Planter, and then a Mementolium. Okay, so that's it for the booster packs. It looks like we do have. Oh, it's not a structure deck. A Raging Tempest Special Edition. Okay, this is soup. This is like this is Zodiac format, right? I think it was Raging Tempest that Zoo came out. Yeah, right. Yo, there's some good cards in here. This is old. This is back from like 2016. Okay, this is gonna be a really fun opening. Let's let's open this up. I haven't opened like this set since since that era. I don't think I've opened it up since 2016, which is absolutely insane. Oh, and I want to show you guys the promos. The promos are pretty good here. Mass Hero Blast, Zombie Stein, you get a Bow Baboon. I think Kararus is like the worst one, but I mean, if if we get a Blast and like a Bow Baboon, I'd be very happy with that, especially as a hero player. You guys know me, I'm a hero guy. So if we are able to pull like a Mass Hero Blast in this as a promo, I would be super amped with that one. Okay. Okay, automatically I know it's not a Blast because there's an XC's card over here. Eh, that sucks. Okay, hopefully we can pull a Bow Baboon though. Bow Baboon? Bow Baboon? Guys, how do we pull the two that we don't want? What is this luck? Zombie Stein's not bad though. I actually think Zombie Stein's a good one. But we got three packs of Raging Tempest over here. This is a set all the way from 2016. I'll put the packs over here. So 2016, this is... Almost, what, eight years old now? Oh my god, we've been in this game for this long. That's absolutely crazy. Okay, so we start things off. Uh, Barrage is in here, right? Barrage is in here. Barrage could be a good one. Dryden would be a good one. There's so many good cards in this set. Arc Fiend over here. Massive Morph. Sun Saga as our rare. And then a Subterra Behemoth Drago Suri as a super rare. Okay, okay. So nothing to start off the first pack. Magic Spectre Gust. Okay. White Princess. Yoko Tuner. Okay, okay. Guys, we got two more packs though. Two more packs. I feel like we can pull something, right? There's no way we got all of these packs and not pull anything, right? There's, there has to be something in here. Void Feast. Very good common card. Very powerful common card. We got a Mechanical Archfiend. Speedroid Gum Prize. Eater of Millions. Oh, did Teratop come in here as well? I feel like it did. Ancient Gear Reborn. And that grass looks greener. Secret rare. Oh my, I forgot how, th bro, this card is insane. I forgot this card was in the set. This card, I mean, it's banned for a reason. Like this card is absolutely insane. It defined multiple formats, I would say. Like, I, I think this was around for maybe two formats before it got banned, maybe three. I can't remember how long, but this card defined a lot of formats. Light Sworn was a thing. So many of those mill decks, I think Infernoid was it like 60 card Infernoid. Oh my God. 
this is a good pull. If you had pulled this back when, you know, when this card was legal, you are winning. That's a really, really good pull. Okay. Guys, we made up for it. That grass looks greener. Absolutely insane pull. Let's see if we can get just one more pull. I mean, I, I know I'm getting a little bit greedy here, but I feel like we can do one more pull. We can get one more pull here. We got a Symphonic Warrior Mikes, Shinobu Salvation, Flower Cardian, Hebo, Lord of the River, Laugh Maker over here as our rare. I've actually never seen this card or maybe never paid attention to it. But the last card over here, the next card over here would be the uh, anything better than a super rare or super rare, I guess. So let's just get to the end here. We got a Cypher Entranger. Terminal World next, Zodiac Ram Ram, and the final card is a Wind Witch Ice Spell, Ultra Rare, that, okay, that is a good way to end off the opening, having the Ice Spell, having that Grass Look Screener, that was such a good uh, special edition there, I mean, we didn't pull the Blast, but this is a really good special edition, that Grass, Ice Spell, Ultra Rare is really nice, and I think that's it, yep, that's it, guys, thank you guys all for watching, this was a really fun opening, shout out to Untouchables again for putting together this mystery package, it included a ton of different booster packs, the Raging Tempest special edition is absolutely insane, like, that is such a blast from the past and being able to open up something from 2016 super fun here on the channel now if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we are uploading every single day for the month of december i can't believe how fast this month has flown by but we're almost at the new year and if you guys want to see all the upcoming videos if you guys want to see all the videos that we've already done make sure you guys subscribe for all of that again big shout out to untouch link will be in the description below to their website shout out aaron who actually put this together for me i appreciate you brother thank you for doing this i appreciate every single one of you guys watching this video with that spanko signing out Merry Christmas, guys. Peace.